<laughs> Hello guys! Hey everyone! How's it going? My name is Sophie. I'm the Marketing and Communication Coordinator at Become Studios. And I'm Fred Trombley. I'm the VP Strategic Accounts at Become Studios. Thanks for joining us today. So we are the Tales from Candlekeep team. If you don't know what the game is, we have taken the Tomb of Annihilation board game and we make a digital version of it and it's now available on Steam. How is everybody? I see Ed Karmatic are here already today. So um, we're going to be doing a showcase of the latest Dice Rolls update. Um, oh yeah, oh yeah. You guys asked for it, we did it. We did so it. So now, since yesterday, I think, yeah? It's yeah, been a, a yesterday. Bit, yeah, we've launched that update um, with the Dice. Um, as previously discussed and mentioned on various channels, uh, as well as our uh, in our uh, community hub uh, on Steam, you know the main request was to see the twenty-sided dice, which very... totally makes sense. So, you guys wanted it; it's live now, so uh, we can definitely have a look at these great dice. Uh, good news! Um, so, to all the people that actually uh, bought the DLC, so we've added all uh, the different skins f uh, for the dice uh, to each uh, of the heroes and uh, of course the standard version is uh, available uh, in the base game right so guys um, everybody gets the standard version with the base game to get the other custom skins they are available within the uh, DLC of the hero so example if you want to have dragon bait special dice skin it's within the dragon baits dungeoneer pack DLC Yep. Yeah. And if you already own it, uh, it should automatically update and provide you with the die skin. Yesterday was the push. Yes, so this update is now live. We're going to play some today. You'll be able to see it. And that's not all we want to, um, to say today. We have some special stuff to show you. It's the first time we show what it is. And oh, yeah. you guys are ready. <laughs> Yeah, that's, right. that's another big update coming So soon. exclusive info for you guys uh, here watching the live stream. So what is it's this? <laughs> what are these guys? <laughs> so you guys already know that and we've already um, revealed uh, Kawasha the Druid. And we've already uh, told you guys that this guy has different powers and... Uh, is uh, a d really different characters, which will add a lot. It will add a lot to the gameplay, the overall gameplay. So here's Kawasha. Uh, we, as you guys can see, this uh, is a druid. Uh, is uh, I think he's a native from Schult as well. Uh, in his background, I need to double check that. Uh, but um, yeah, and Kawasha, of course, can transform as a good druid into different uh, animals. And uh, as you guys can see on the left of the screen, um, there's that uh, gorilla. Geralion, is it? The Geralion. Yeah. Uh, so he can transform in, into a uh, Geralion gorilla. And he can also transform into a Velociraptor. And in the middle, we have a Veggie oh. Pygmy. What is that, Veggie Pygmy? Yeah, this, this Veggie Pygmy <laughs> is. His name is Cal. Capalue. Capalue. Yeah. Uh, so. Um, he's actually a friend. Uh, you can summon Kepalue uh, in the game as a companion. In the game as a companion, mm -hmm. so it will assist you uh, throughout your quest. So that's a Ooh, really that's great addition. Be... We're proud. It's going. Uh, it's going super fast. The development is almost done. Uh, you should get uh, this update uh, pretty soon. We'll provide you with more more uh, info about it. Veggie Pygmy looks like Abel. <laughs> <laughs> How are you doing uh, today, Salvage? So we're going to jump in the game, yep. show you the dice rolls, and we also have a special boss that we're going to uh, defeat today. Oh, let me go over here first. Get into a full game yeah. mode for you guys. And uh, we're going to venture and see Kothar. We have a bunch of, uh, of things to show. And uh, first things first, the dice rolls. Oh, oh, I actually want to also mention the dice rolls for you guys. There's a possibility for the dice to toggle this on and off. So you're able to um, get the... Um, <laughs> can you go out of full game mode? Yeah, I can see. So, okay, I'm going to continue what I was saying here. Um, 
The dice rolls are optional, so there's three modes for the dice that you can play with. You have the possibility of having no dice of rolls in the game at all, just playing as it was before. Mm -hmm. You can also decide, I want dice rolls, but I want the rolls to be automatic. So you won't be the one to click on the die and decide whenever it stops. So you're able to uh, get this automatic. And if you want to have a more manual control over your rolls, well, it's quite easy. You go into the options menu and uh, pick from there the um, manual option. All right. Not done yet. Not done. All right. No, he's, he's, busy, uh, there you go. Yeah, I'm good now. Okay, so maybe we can head over to yeah. the options, and I can just picture visually what uh, what we had here. All right, awesome. So Fred good. was getting his uh, old stuff set up here. So I'm gonna head back into the main menu here. Um, and by the way, uh, should we expect some uh, changes or improvements within the options settings? Oh yeah, we're we're planning on adding uh, a separate panel, two different tabs. In the in the setting panels, and we're planning on uh, it's been you know some some uh, some folks on uh, some of our uh, players were asking uh, if they could if they already bought the DLC but they want to play the core experience, so the um, you know they, they they wanted to be able to do so so in the new safe game so we're going to have more uh, more options there so you guys can decide either play with the DLC or play the core experience. Um, Great. You know that's 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 uh, something that we believe is going to be uh, a plus for the game. So you can get used to the game with the DLC, so you, your your characters are a bit stronger. And when you feel confident that you can handle uh, the core experience, which can be quite challenging, mm -hmm. uh, you just uh, start a new save game and uh, you can decide to not use your DLC awesome. for that specific save. All right. So we're gonna head in the game here real quick. Okay. Uh. Okay, so we're gonna hop in here and see what we have available. All right, jump in here, watch this summer. Uh, Carmanic, what do you mean? Your graphic setting. Kevin Nichols is saying on Facebook, Hey guys, I always enjoy watching your updates. Keep up the good job. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. So let's <laughs> check if we. Absurdium, I think we all appreciate the hard work you put in in uh, to giving us options. Um, saying on Twitch, well, thank you so much, Absurdium. It's good to have options. Yeah, it's something it's been looking into, of course. So we're just double checking something here real quick. Yep. Encounter. Yep. I need to get my first fight uh, in order to check if the dice are really yeah. in this build. So that's our uh, current yeah, if struggle. Not, yeah, if not, we can just swap to the main one. Yeah. Exploration phase. Yeah, trying to get an encounter. <laughs> not this one. So, Karmatic, will you also be adding new graphics mode or a new graphics setting screen? Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll definitely have a second look at the... Uh, at the overall structure of the page itself, but itself, but also uh, uh, of the section, sorry, but also at the different features we're we're offering there. Hey, Helric! I liked what I saw so much last week. I went and purchased the game and loved it. Great, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Helric. All right, so let's see if we see the dice. Uh, I, I I have a feeling. Uh, <laughs> I hope we I see have the a dice. Feeling we can just like qu quickly check a box yeah. here and activate that. We're a little, we were a little bit late in our uh, to get ready for, for the, we're the always, stream. We're always we're super always super ahead that, of time. Like, <laughs> like last minute. So let's uh, let's first uh, I'll just buff bird song. All right, so. Hope oh, next time I'm selecting. All right. Well, while you guys are here, what would you like to see added in the game in a future update, perhaps? Hey, Phoenix, good to see you. So, no, it's not so the I right can, version. I can just go ahead and. and uh, on the fire, yeah, I will change here. Okay. It's 
So um, one thing that, so we're just going over here and changing the build real fast, but in the meantime, I do have some announcements for you guys. Um, I, um, here we go. Um, we do have some giveaways to give you guys today, just like last time. Yeah. So we have, what do we have for giveaway for you guys in chat? We have one base game of the Tales from Canada Keep to Annihilation uh, game, as well as four of the DLCs. So the DLCs that we have, uh, plenty of things for the DLC. Um, I can show you some pretty cool wallpapers that we have uh, within the DLC that you will be able to have um, when you get these packages. So we see here a beautiful bird song. This one is one wallpaper. of my favorite. Me too. So all right, so we're good yeah. here. I'm gonna really quickly go over the other ones. Dragon bait that we have here, Ashara, and then Art of Simmer. Great ones as we have. So we're gonna hop in here into Cool, are you guys excited? Multiplayer co-op, you'd like to see that added in the game? It's been discussed. Oh yeah, yeah, it's been discussed, <laughs> it's on the list. Uh, you know, every time you guys are asking for something, uh, we regroup, uh, we check on a weekly basis, and we either add to the list or scratch the list because we already implemented. Mm -hmm. <coughs> so uh, we're uh, super active on our game. And we want to make sure that uh, you guys are happy and uh, enjoy playing the game. So that's, yeah. that's the goal. <laughs> so hey, uh, that's what I was referring to earlier. Automatic, yeah. manual, or turned off. We're gonna have them manual here. For yeah, the it's stream. manual. Man yeah, we we've tried different modes here, and uh, you know, m having to actually hit the dice and stop it and, and, mm -hmm. and that was the default. You know, manual is the default mod, mode, but if you choose to uh, just use automatic roll, that's fine, <laughs> that's a possibility, but uh, uh, you can also, if you, if you don't wanna have the dice and just play like you used to, you can also do it. Salvage bar on Twitch. I want to add the ability to humiliate my friends. <laughs> I assume you mean co-op or something <laughs> like. Okay, um, so uh, we're going to be doing a raffle. So we're not doing uh, the giveaway as a raffle because we're live on multiple platforms right now. We're on Facebook, Mixer, two Twitch and two YouTubes. Um, so we'll be asking questions at the end of the stream. Pay attention to some stuff we say. Um, and we're gonna give the giveaways in that format. I need that base game. Well, cross your fingers. You may be the winner of that yeah. giveaway. <laughs> so Fairy has a question for you, Fred. Um, I have not played much of this game. Can you create your own characters? As of now, you know, these, uh, this game is, is a uh, adaptation of an existing board game based on the adventure system by Dungeons and Dragons. So the way it works is when you get the board game, you get a set of four, five, five actually pre-made character which you uh, play with. Uh, what we're planning on doing is since there are five existing titles, we're planning on creating all of these titles uh, Legends of Dritz, Rat of Ashwalon, uh, Ravenloft, and your favorite Temple of Elemental Evil. <laughs> so these would, you know, don't quote me, but that's definitely in the plan. So after that, you know, you could play all of these different characters in all of the different iteration of the board game. So, but you cannot create your own characters. Maybe in the future, that's something we can have a look at. But for now, it's not in the plan. You wanted to play a female halfling controller mage. <laughs> and oh, <it's> <laughs> yeah, that, that would be that would be honestly that would be amazing. Um, I think that's something that could come up in the future. But as of now, we're mostly looking toward creating the other board game titles. But that will have a lot of fun because you could actually play Dritz the Warden with Ashara and um, I don't know another characters from uh, Ravenloft and mix that mix them all together and play in the jungle or play in mm -hmm. uh the underdark for instance or play in a in 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 a castle for ravenloft so you have different atmosphere different characters that's that's part of the goal so i just uh i'm just starting the game i'll just go over the basic uh, like always you know there's an initiative role 
uh, this time artist won uh, the initiative. So what I like to do is uh, position artists somewhere around here uh, to start discovering another tile. And the way uh, I want to handle that game is try to use, um, I'll, I'll, I'll just use uh, Ashara and um, I'll buff my good friend Birdsong with Mage Armor. Good plan. And also use um, the Paladin, which I have a blank. Uh, oh, Dragon Bait? <laughs> Dragon Bait. <laughs> it's and, Friday. Uh, apply Heroism <laughs> on Ashara. But let's start. All right. You could, Fairy, yeah. That's the plan. Kevin, so will you guys create your own version of the board games? Because, yeah, the board games are popular and great place to learn and wet your whistle, but the popularity of D&D lately offers a huge opportunity. So will we create our own version of the board game? You know, there's been... There, there's so many opportunities we can create with this game. I totally agree with you. D&D uh, is huge. Uh, of course, we're, we're happy. <laughs> we're happy that D&D is, is really back on the map with the 5th edition and everything that's mm -hmm. going on. Even, uh, you know, the TV series. Uh, I you know, know right? <laughs> so I, I hope you, you've watched uh, uh, that great uh, series. Um, <laughs> which I, again, remember. Uh, don't remember <laughs> the name. Uh, but, yeah, we could definitely and we hope to be able to offer different ways to play this game. So you can build your own dungeon. Uh, so you can use a set of tile, pre-made tiles that you could all put together and put different monster on and then... Like uh, a creator mode. Yeah, like a creator mode, but also, you know, we could create our own story. Uh, I'm pretty sure that the people at WotC would be happy to help us out on this. Um, the TV series, yes. <laughs> yeah, wait, what's the name of the TV series? What's the name? I don't remember. Yeah, I, I, you know, it, it just, <laughs> you know, I can't, that's impossible. I don't remember the name of the series. And does everything, yeah, so the the dungeon, as you can see Fred playing right now, um, is, it's based off a random lookup tables for shuffling. So mm. there's a deck of cards, of tiles of the map, and you randomly pick one of these as if you were playing the board game. So that's why the game is procedural. You don't really know what's gonna be ahead. So, all right, just uh, <laughs> positioning the characters, discovering more of the dungeon, of course. As you guys can see, there are encounters when I'm facing uh, challenging tiles. This one is a challenging tile so, style, so there is a, that means that there's an encounter associated with it. So I can choose to either interrupt it using adrenaline, which I gain by killing monsters, or uh, or just decide to suffer it. Uh, so for this one, it's uh, this, it's a spell strike, so random spell is cast on the tile of the active hero. What are you gonna do? Uh, <laughs> I think I'm just gonna, yeah. Let's take it, I'll take all it. right. Oh. So here's the oh, spell strike. I've been okay. lucky, it misses, it, it missed, but I still got uh, when it missed, it's only one, one point of damage. damage. Yeah. Great. Okay. All right. We're looking to uh, to find the devil face right now in the quest. Yeah. So Fred has to look around the map and try and find that devil face. Yeah, but I don't want to split my party too much. I'll just. I, I'm I'm always trying to stay within one uh, within two tiles. So all my heroes are within two tiles of each other. So if the if a yeah. you know if a Neven trigger or if there's a lot of monsters spawning on the specific dice I can always kind of regroup in this in a specific area and, and, and fight my way um, yeah another encounter so this one is danger from the dark attack each hero on a tile with and then explore edge and apply disadvantage so yeah I think I'm gonna you know I'm gonna go for this one because there's only should be just no hero getting any damage so you have to read these encounters because sometimes you can just keep your adrenaline for later which is a good thing because uh, in the current uh, state of the game I knew that I, I, I hadn't any characters on, on uh, ties with an unexplored edge mm -hmm. so this way I'm just avoiding the damage so why Interrupted. Yeah, it's good to read the encounters that yeah. happen because sometimes you may just be wasting the adrenaline by using the adrenaline and you don't need to. 
All right, so I'm gonna do a double move here because it looks like my options are getting traps. a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> it's just it's just about lots of traps. So right, let's disable that that way. I'll make it easier after. And you could jump on a trap. You see, oh. for the first time, the dice. Oh, and you have an advantage yes. right here. So two die rolls. So the let's best on the in the first one, second one. So when you're in advantage, we always take you. You throw two dice and you take the highest uh, score. And, and that's a success. I was successful, so that's that's great. So um, yeah, you've seen the dice in action. And also, we've added all kind of in-game uh, indication, tool so uh, tooltips. So, you know, this is a brand new game, so that's why you know you'll see these tooltips. But uh, when when you're a new player, you'll see these uh, tooltips from time to time for like six times, and mm -hmm. then after that, they're out. Uh, yeah, disadvantage. I don't mind much. Take it out because we'll uh, we'll be able to show you the the dice roll when there's this advantage. So all right, it's a Shara's turn. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna disarm trap. I don't have any choice because look at him. All right. Ooh. Oh one. Boo. Trigger. Yeah, trigger the trap. Soak the damage. And this trap is a shrill alarm. So a creature nearby is making a disturbing racket, drawing the attention of other creatures. Oh. A new monster spawns on the closest empty ambush side. And, and that's next to Dragon Bait, I think, right yes, here. Yes, should be. Ooh, let's see, let's see. Spawn a monster on the two closest so ambush side. Yeah, so let's 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 spawn monsters. You know, we want to fight. We want to show the dice. You got a Geralion right Yeah, here. Geralion. And here you go, the trap activates. So another monster spawn. So and now it's disarmed, of course. Alright, so let's do this. So I'll start with yeah, let's use a Swift Strike. Swift Strike is a uh, a special attack that Dragon Bait possess, which is uh, allow him to attack one adjacent monster, then attack one other adjacent monster. If there are no uh, additional monster adjacent, you can double strike your target. So as you guys can see, we've changed the little icon here. So you see the dice icon with the 10 plus next to it. So that provides you with the, 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 the target number you'll need to reach in order to hit the creature. So for this one, I need a, a 10. You got a plus five, so. I got a plus five. Oh, I missed. Yeah. On my first attack, but, oh! Still miss on the second no. strike. Ah, it's too bad, Dragon Bait. Too bad. Let's move Dragon Bait here. And next turn, I'll, I'll disarm in a, in another trap to get out of the... Uh, what is this? Oh, Deadfall. I don't want to have Deadfall. All right. Villain phase. Uh, all right, so uh, bird song. Let's use uh, poison dart. You see, uh, as you guys can see, I need 11 plus to hit uh, the Velociraptor or nine, nine. plus to hit Geralion. Uh, I'll start with Geralion. I love the uh, bird song dice. Nice it's color. Good. Yeah, 19 Whoa. plus six. Boom. So one damage. Great. That's a really tough one. Yeah, that's a tough one. He's 5-5, five, five, so... Uh, Alright. Just... Go to the next turn. And uh, Birdsong got a special power. You can dispel magic, so she uh, actually is super helpful in a party. Um, and she can dispel Encounter. Let's see if I'm gonna use my Interrupt on this one. Uh, mushroom Spores. Yeah, I'll, do, I'll uh, yeah. interrupt it. All right. So now it's Arthur's turn. I think Arthur definitely needs to join the fray here. Hey, Fernet, just join us. What's this game? It's called Tales from Cano Keep. It's available on Steam. It's a port from uh, you know the Adventure System board games by Dungeon and Dragon. So the latest one is uh, Tomb of Horror, uh, Tomb of Annihilation. Sorry from about that. From the Tomb of Horror. Yeah. From the Tomb of Horror. Uh, <laughs> Thanks for joining us, Furnid. 
So uh, it's a turn-based game. Uh, you'll see, like right now, he's oh shooting at the disadvantage. Shooting at a disadvantage, so you guys can will see the difference between advantage and disadvantage. Uh, Seventeen. Seventeen, oh. but I may lose that roll for three. A three. Oh yeah. no, no. So uh -oh. yeah, when you in disadvantage, you know you. Uh, Luckily, you, it didn't need a whole lot, so that yeah. worked anyway. Yes. You can even hit him with re your reflexes again if you Yeah, like I it. think I think I'm gonna get rid of this guy. Again, disadvantage. Five. I think I have that enough works. with five. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Archer Simber is really great with his bow, uh, but you always need to be careful if you want to use the bow. You need to be one tile away from your target. So if you want, <laughs> you're on the same tile. You cannot use your bow. All right. Sounds great. Anywhere you yeah, can. Uh, MNC is saying, well, this seems like super high version of D&D. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it's super high, but we're, we're having a lot it of fun playing it. <laughs> Aldaris, always interrupt a spell strike or you could be disintegrated. They do a lot oh, of... Oh, yeah, yeah. Spell strike, uh, they're not fun. Definitely, definitely a lot of damage. <laughs> All right, exploration. So what yeah. do we have? Uh... No ex now exploration. Now have uh, dark influence. <laughs> uh, consume one turn of adrenaline to interrupt. Uh, of course, each hero or adjacent to an ambush site take damage. Mm. Uh, you can see the ambush site, the ambush location, with this yeah. uh, green effect, particles effects that are just there. So, so you bird guys, song so would bird get hit. So bird song would get hit. And so I think yeah, Arthas. probably a bird song mm. and Arthas. Okay. That's not a big deal. You know, one damage. Yeah. So yeah, now it's a uh, it's a Shara's turn. Let's move a Shara here. Hey, MNC is asking you. So the motivations of making Candle Keep is to update D&D play style, or has D&D just been inspiration for this? So what's the inspiration? It's essentially. It's actually the board game. It's totally the board game. So uh, this board game exists since. Uh, Probably uh, almost 10 years it's now. a long time uh, now. I think they started with uh, Temple of Elemental Evil, if I'm correct. Is that the whole... Or th uh, as, Rat anyway. Yeah, Yeah, okay. so there, there's like five titles now. And they're, um, they're always, they all share the same tile system. And most of the mechanics. But of course, each time there's a new release of a board game, there are new rules and new stuff that's, that's added each time. But the good thing with uh, these board games is actually you can mix and match them together. So yeah, it's really the, the inspiration is really based on the board game. But of course, the world of Dungeons and Dragons. So all right, so I'm casting Chromatic Orb on uh, that battery, battery warrior. And I just got Boots of Heavenkind. Always, always handy. All right, let's explore some more. I need to find the devil face. And, and by the way, the tiles are um, totally random generated. So you never get the same experience twice. They're always different. So you cannot know ahead what, what's going to be the road right. and, and the, the specific pattern to uh, reach uh, the devil face, which is the first, uh, first task of the quest. So, yeah. All right, so yeah, let's move Dragon Bay here. Hey Adam, how are you doing today? And seventeen. Oh yeah. I love uh, Dragon's Bay uh, die skin. It's Eight, one of my four, favorite. Four. Oh, but, but I fail. Not good enough. All right. Anyway, let's explore some more. So, do we have any plans? That's a question from Mardis on Twitch. Do we have any plans to do anything like Tomb of Horror? There's a little bit of Tomb of Horror in this, honestly, because uh, the um, I, I don't want to reveal too much if you don't own the game, if you've not played it. But uh, you know, I've played Tomb of Horrors, and there are some uh, elements of it in, in the game. Similarities. Uh, you'll notice when when you play it. Uh, as soon as you get in the catacombs, you'll start seeing some of the elements, because uh, I think the inspiration of Tomb of Annihilation. That's some inspiration from Tomb of Horror. Absolutely, yeah. So Fern has played Castle of Rimmeloft. Seems similar. Yeah, there's uh, obviously inspirations. <laughs> All right, so games, this game's, game's doing good so far. So let's... Uh, 
still haven't found that devil face. No, and let's try to get rid of that. Ah, oh, missed. All right, so I think I'm gonna. My party is spread spread out, too spread out. Let's try mm. to re regroup a little. <laughs> All right, I'll bring Bird Song around. Avoid the encounter. All right. Uh, and I use Artus to get rid of the uh, Venusaurus. Careful shot. Four, Four plus twelve. Yeah, and, yeah. The EC. So that's only sixteen. I need that seventeen. So close, that's but not. That's too bad. But what I can do is I'm gonna heal that poor bird song, which is standing next to me, Bleeding. and I have uh, a lot of healing potion. So let's get her back to full. She's bleeding, so I need to spend an entire turn at the same spot. So and then she'll stop bleeding. So moving around, Artus. Uh, yeah, let's move here. Let's discover more of this dungeon. Normal tile. Oh, yeah, like. normal tile. That's that's an easy one. And in addition, we get a um, a straw man. Yeah. So he's a, essentially a scapegoat for damage. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's great. You know, when you you really feel the pressure, and then you discover a tile with a straw man. Sometimes the uh, the monsters and, the, and your your enemies go go for it. So uh, it's really helpful. That's an additional target available. So, all right, so, yeah, I think I'm gonna just do an acid A -O -E. splash. AOE. AOE to get rid of these guys. So you need a, That's, a 12. Oh, one. oh, God. Oh, yeah, but it's it's AOE, so it's double hit. So I've missed one, but I've, uh, I've hit another one. <laughs> so that's good. At least I'm getting rid of one. And I'm gonna move to the edge of a tile. Let's cover a little bit more. Oh, Finally. there you go. All right, so Eku is talking to us. Eku is your guide. She's native from Shul. She's helping you out uh, during your quest. Uh, so she's telling us, what is this statue? The darkness in its mouth is not very inviting. Oh, let's have a look. We'll have a look at the <laughs> darkness in its mouth. It's not very inviting. Yeah, All right. yeah, let's check it out. Let's zoom it in. Yeah. So that's actually a door. Oh. Now you need to find the skeleton key and collect it to be able to open that gate. So. Yeah. All right. Where's so that skeleton key? I have dragon bait here. I have one foe standing next to him. If I move here, I can still discover a time and attack him. I don't want to miss this All guy. Right. Boom. Oh. Eight plus ten. Good. Eight plus ten. Of course, it'd be twelve. And, and I get the size the moment. <laughs> The D&D face, yeah, yeah. to the <laughs> face, the uh, devil face. <laughs> All right, so yeah, I'm, I'm in a good position. I'll stay right there. Is the key in a chest? You'll soon find <laughs> out. Hello, Eric, you'll soon find out. All right, challenging time, shivering sickness. A random hero gains disadvantage and is stunned. Uh, I'll, I'll just soak it up. Let's see what happens. So... Um. Yeah. Ashara is done and she's uh, she now has a disadvantage. <laughs> All right, so we look like uh, our bird song is doing. Let's find out. She's still facing that guy. <laughs> so all right, let's try to. So that's a plus six. That's a plus four. Uh, I think I'm gonna use my daily power. Dramatic strike. Yeah, because I really wanna. You know, she's bleeding. She needs some rest. Oh. And she's on the disadvantage, so rolling two dice and hope I'm... Oh, oh I might, might be good. Plus eight. Boom. Of course, yeah. Yes. Getting rid of the Velociraptor. I'm going to stay there, even though I'm feeling like exploring more and I need to reach the edge of a tire. But I really need to get rid of that bleeding effect so I won't move. Yeah. Junior Puzuzu, I need this game. The game is on Steam right now. Yeah. Tales from <laughs> Hell Keep. All right, so all heroes gain disadvantage. I don't want that, so I'll use my adrenaline. Let's get rid of all of these disadvantages. All right, Artis, what's going on on your side of the the map? Look like you're pretty alone. Where we is need to discover more. So what I'll do is, uh, you know, I'll just go for the trap. Boom. Let's see and find out what's going on with this trap. 
Yeah. I tricked. Oh my god, that was a bad choice. <laughs> Just got it for four eight four hit dice, uh, four HP. I should have taken my time and oh, oh and I found the key. Oh, so that so was not, not that bad of a choice. Is actually. it key? In a chest, the answer is yeah. the key is the skeleton. Yeah. You take the skeleton and you put it in the door and open the door. Or yeah. The or you can just grab the head. Cut the head off. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, the skeleton key uh, went directly for uh, the dummy, which is a good thing. So we've avoided a hit. So Ashara was stunned. So, but she can actually, I think she can. Yeah, she can only do one thing. She can either move or attack because she was stunned. So let's discover a little bit more of the map to avoid yeah. encounters. And we're lucky enough to get a straw man, so that's not a big deal. Oh, the dead curse. I hate this encounter, honestly, because it's really tempting, because uh, the way it works with the dead curse is a dice roll on an 18 or higher, you lose a healing surge. What is a healing surge? Healing surge are super handy in this game because of course you can, you know the characters don't have a lot of HP uh, and you can die you can die in the dungeon but you have three healing surges uh, and it's as simple as um, it just revives you when when you you actually down so uh, yeah. the way it works is you have like three additional chances you have three revives during the game if you go out of healing surges, you lose. So normally it's two with the base game, yeah. additional one with the DLC. Yeah. So let's make see. it a little bit easier. So crossing fingers here, see to yeah. get the eighteen or higher. Trying your luck. Trying my luck. Good. I'm safe enough. All Good. Right. So I see you guys uh, talking here over the um, uh, TFC uh, Twitch. We um, we do have a uh, charity bundle on the Yavscast Jingle Jangle uh, that's yep. up right now. Anybody that donates to the bundle of uh, Yavscast gets a bundle of games worth $35. And we were announced on day 11 the DLC yep. of Tales from Canon Keep. So if you still want to donate to the charity or get a bundle of games, uh, go check it out on Humble Bundle right now. The so that's Yavscast. a 21 and Bird Song hit. Hey, good hit. All right, and now she's uh, she's free uh, from the uh, bleeding effect, so she can now move more freely on the map. Let's uh, let's go and assist uh, our friend Artis. Oh, the TV series I was looking for is Stranger Things. I Gone. had no idea that's what you had in mind. <laughs> I was thinking of a cartoon. I was like, what cartoon no, is he you know, it's Stranger about? Things, you know. It, it all oh. started last year with the first season. They were talking Amazing. about the Gorgons earlier. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's all about I the Gorgons. I had no idea that's what you had in mind. Yeah, yeah, that's what I had in mind. Stranger Things, yeah, great Yeah, finally, show. like, ten minutes after, what, after <laughs> you got the name of the TCB series I was oh, looking for. Yeah. All right, each hero takes damage equals the number of monster he or she control. That means that prob I have one monster associated with, I think, bird song. Yes, and look like it's pretty empty over here. So yeah, I'll just go for it. And bird song is gonna get hit. Oh, and the <laughs> the encounter deals. Uh, Great. Two damage to Artis Simber, by the way, because Artis was. He had these. Oh yeah. gosh. Yeah, so that was a bad thing. Let's let's get clear of these guys. They're not on the same tile, but at least you get the key. Look at this ice storm. Let's see this. What do you have? You're hiding the number. Oh eight. eight. Okay. <laughs> That's enough. That's enough. Good. So I got. Skeleton getting key. Getting rid of the skeleton. So now I have the key. So next step is use the key to activate the devil face. All right. So, and that's what I'm going to do. Um, what's going on with this poor artist? He's going to die. Uh, yeah. Or I can jump. Yeah, let's, let's use jump on myself and see where it's going to lead me. So that's going to bring me right here. Yeah, close enough. Boom. Worst case scenario, he dies and you lose a healing yeah, surge. Yeah, no, no, but it gives me an extra move, yeah. so I'll just move here. Because it doesn't cost an action, it's a yeah, utility power. Yeah, that's a utility power, so that gives you super long range. Uh, spawn a new monster in the closest empty ambush site. Uh, 
Yes, so the game is solo yeah. right now, but uh, we have discussions of uh, co-op and multiplayer. Yeah, co-op would come first, for sure. Before going multiplayer, we, we just want to make sure that the first player experience is nailed down, that we've addressed some of your uh, feedback, that everybody's happy and it's a great success. And uh, and then after that, would be probably co-op mode, adding more titles, more characters. Yep, yeah, but it's in the plans, yeah. guys. It's not um, just a single player game forever. Found Ooh. the gates. Oh, what's happening? Oh. oh! Oh! So here's what I got. I got this. Oh, Kota. I got this little guy. It, that, there you go, Dino. <laughs> he's, so, he's so tidy. <laughs> it it cannot, cannot be. be. So Kota was once one of the most feared predator on the peninsula of Schult. See, so you get lots of surprises like that. You know, a boss fight. Like you, you were not expecting it really, and then boom, you teleported in a secret room. I love room. boss fights in yeah. this game. And we have to face this boss with Artist Simber at one HP. Let's see what <laughs> let's see what's, what's going to happen. Are you next to him with potions though? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you for that, Sophie. <laughs> I think I'll just do that right now. So, you know, you can heal your character or other characters as, as long as they're adjacent to your square um, and you can you're not using any action point or move point while using potion so let's get artist back on his feet and all right so shara will uh, i'll apply mage armor on birdsong of course you can buff your uh, teammate and what i'll do is um yeah look you're right. out i think yep I'll use Aced. On Ashara, yeah. On Ashara. So she now can attack. Or move. Or move. Well, I'll, uh, He's no, out of line of sight. Out of line of sight because of that statue. Statue right there. All right, so I'll just move right here. So, what does Kothar do if you look at his little tooltip oh. info? What kind of attacks can we expect All from right. this guy? So, each time you want to know more about a specific monster, you just hit the little exclamation point icon here, next to it. Next to it is a HP bar, and you get his AC, number of HP, uh, his attack, and, and damage. And you know this, he, he does actually pounce. two different attacks, so pounce and ren. Um, and you can read read all of the details uh, associated with uh, the different attacks and phases. So if the villain is one tile away from a hero, he jumps. Edge send to that hero, attacks him or her using pounce. If the pounce hits as long as there is a hero one tile away from Kodar, position that was not affected by pounce, it would chain pounce until there are no more heroes that meet this condition. Wow. Alright, so let's be careful. Alright, so. Turns over. Yeah, with turns the over. In time, it's a challenging one, but my boots of Endless Kind actually uh, stopped the encounter from happening. He hit the shield. Yeah, and he hit the, chi the shield, which is great. <coughs> All right, so yeah, Dragon Bait will. Should we use? Yeah, let's use Grievous Strike. All right. Yeah, so that's my daily power. <coughs> what it does is. Um, Dragon Bait goes for a devastating strike against his enemy. Attack one adjacent monster. If the attack misses, the, the power is not spent. So if I miss, I won't lose my daily power. I won't be able to re reuse it afterward. All right, let's roll that dice. Nine, Nine plus, plus eight. eight. You got it. Boom, that's four HP. All right, so now I can move Dragon Bait to still discover a new top. And avoid an encounter. Yeah. You always want, as best as you can, try try to avoid uh, encounters. Is there any at ambush side here? I don't see any. Ah, I think you're good. All right, so boom. Uh, all right, so Koda just missed, which is a good thing for me. Now it's bird song. Uh, yeah, I'll use so poison dart. If I use poison dart. Uh, I need 7 plus, and if I use Bardic Inspiration, I need, I need 9 plus. Of course, I'll take Bardic Inspiration, and you'll see the cool animation. So, I love it. Bardic mm. Inspiration, 9. Plus 4. Plus 4, she should be good. Advantage, also. Yeah, and she, if she hits with this attack, she gives 
uh, advantage to all the characters at the same time. Um, so PK is asking, is this Dungeon and Dragon online? No. <laughs> no, it's not. No, it's not. No, no, it totally, it totally, it totally isn't. So uh, the game Dungeon is Dragon Tales Online. from Candlekeep Tomb of Annihilation. You can see the name uh, with the logo on the bottom left side of the screen. The game is a PC adaptation of the Tomb of Annihilation board game by Wizkid. So we just launched on October, so we're, uh, <coughs> we're new and the uh, game is available on Steam right now. Welcome, PK. Alright, so we still have that boss fight going, so let's see if we can see it better that way, yeah. So we have Artist Ears at 5 HP. I think I'm gonna use a Desperate Strike yeah, on Jackal. Kotar. This is uh, Tales from Candlekeep. All right, so I have Advantage, so I roll two dice. Oh, Ooh. need to have, need better. Okay. Oh, 10, plus nine, over 13 a uh, AC, boom. That's it. Awesome. Four hit dice, uh, four uh, hit. Uh, all right, danger from the dark. Attack each hero in a tie with an unexplored edge and apply disadvantages. Uh, interrupt this. All right, what's next? Oh, I'm bleeding. All right. Yeah, Kotar is, is going quite hard on, yeah. on, on artists. So yeah, let's bring Ashara into the fray. Uh, yeah. I'll just. I don't think I can explore more, so I need to stay close to the fight. Mm. So yeah, he's at 10 HP though. Yeah. I think you could probably yeah. get him to hit some of that shield. Oh god! Oh. I forgot to check for uh, line of sight uh, with this uh, spell. Oh yeah, there you I'm go. I'm losing my <laughs> turn. Too bad. That's oh god. It happens. That's a mistake. Sorry. Man, it I'll, looks I'll so definitely good. move though. Thanks, PK. PK saying the game looks so good. Thank you, PK. Uh, if you, you know, you get a chance to win the game, if you stay with us. We have a giveaway at the end. <coughs> We're giving a Steam key. We're also giving 40 LCs. And if you want to uh, be kind enough and go buy it on Steam, it's a great game. The game is $15.99 USD on regular price. In case you were wondering. Um, oh, here we go. Yeah, I wasn't able to avoid that encounter. So, so Arthas right. is 3 HP. Yeah, let's bring Dragon Bait. Uh, what I'll do is I'll just buff Arthas Dark er Blager. heroism. Yeah. No, he's not next to me. Dark Blager, so that's why I was confused by the mechanics he says uh, over on Twitch. It's not an adaptation of Boom. the D&D 5 edition, but of a board game, that's correct. Yes. It's an adaptation of the Two of Annihilation board game. It has elements of the fourth, elements of the fifth edition. Yes. So you, you yeah, definitely. It's yeah, the um, the first editions of the board game were uh, based on the fourth edition, but with the latest release, we they've added some uh, rules uh, that are more uh, fifth edition. But there's still <laughs> some fourth edition rules as well. My this, I could not wait for the giveaway. I had to buy it. <laughs> <laughs> ah, thank, thank you. you so That's great. <laughs> thank you. You want to play D&D, but you don't have a DM. Yeah, mm. if you want to have a, uh, you know, uh, it's 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 like if you take your time uh, and just go through all the quests and the side quests, it's over. 20 hours of gameplay and more. I'm at 60 and then, hours and I haven't done all the achievements. Yeah. I'm trying to get the achievements. And after that, you can replay in hard mode and horrific. And of course, you can customize your characters because you get crafting material, which you can actually transform into different armors and uh, weapons yeah. uh, for your character. So you get a little bit of... Uh, you have your word to say in how you're going to play your characters because you have these extra uh, weapons, armor, and, and yeah. so on that you can add to your characters. <laughs> Alright, let's finish that fight. I think I'm gonna be done after that. Uh, choose a hero. Alright, let's spawn monsters. I'm good. Don't mind. So, we don't even see. I also have the DMD. Two of ventilation. <laughs> I gotta pull my shirt up because we don't see. <laughs> If All you right. are at PAX, we'll have some of those for you guys. Yeah, we're going to PAX out. PAX out, t-shirts for you and other stuff. 
Let's discover another tie here with Birdsong, because I can do it. Oh, that's starting to be a lot of people here. Oh, okay. Lots of monsters. I guess, what do we do in that case? Do you just focus on the boss or try Yeah, to you can up? definitely focus on the boss, because uh, at this time is uh, <laughs> it's kind of pretty low on HP. And boom. He actually killed Artis Ember, but... Healing Surge. Healing Surge. These are automatic, just... Uh, get a healing surge right after. So, all right. Uh, yeah, let's get rid of... Ah, oh, I might use Cone of Cold. Oh, yeah. Because I like the effect. And damage. <laughs> and damage. Oh, I'm a disadvantage, though. Cross so finger. Oh, oh, 16, hey. 16, boom. I think <laughs> we're going to get rid of Kotar. No, it's still Not alive. close, but close. Close, we're close. Alaric, this game is worth it, folks. Easy to learn, and it's a turn-based, so you have time to consider your move. That's so right. Thank you, yeah. Alaric, for saying it's fun. Thank we're you. Happy to see Thank that. you. It has official D&D stuff included. It does. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, All right. Actually, you know, since I'm, I'm talking to you guys and going back and forth, uh, sometimes I'm, I'm forgetting about, about stuff, but when you're... You, you're playing, you need to think about where you're positioning your characters, what you're doing. Yeah. Um, think ahead. Uh, also, um, always think uh, about buffing your characters. Try to do your best to position your character close to each other when you want to do it, do it at the beginning of a game. Uh, and also, uh, you can customize your spell. Don't forget about that. Yeah. So there are different spells that you can actually select or unselect in between games so um, for for instance Ashara has a web spell super handy for for a specific dungeon so you can just go back to the uh, character screen and modify your list of spell so it uses elements of the fourth edition and the fifth edition it's based on the board game really um, oh too bad oh no, no miss with chromatic orb all right, we're going to start, start to be ugly a little bit. We're going to start the giveaway here in any right. second, guys, if you're ready. We have only five minutes to go. So All right, I'm going to kill Kodar next. So you, you're going to kill, you're gonna kill yeah, Kodar? Yeah, 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 I'm killing it. Um, I'm going to finish the questions here real quick. Absorbium is asking, hey, you know, we have the DLC on Humble Bundle, but not the base game. Do we have plans to have the base game? Uh, definitely have discussions, but I can confirm anything right now. So I'll let you guys know for sure. Um, loving this game at your friend's place? All right, lady, not enough PC Boom. to run it. Kodar is dead, and let's see how much loot oh. we're going to get. Are we going to be out on consoles, perhaps? You know, we're definitely open to uh, porting to other devices. Um, yeah, console is in the... Yeah, we, it's in the plan. Well, uh, again, we'll, we'll let you guys know. <laughs> All right, so we're going to ask one question here. The first person that gets the answer yeah. the quickest wins the base game. So, guys, easy question for the base game. Uh... You guys ready? The question is... You ready? Yeah. I'm taking notes also who uh, wins what. We fought a boss today. What's his name? Oh. The name of the boss we just fought. You can go ahead and say the answer now and we'll see who's the quickest. Let's start with a little K. K. It's in the title. <laughs> oh! No. Kothar, I, <laughs> we have to say it's spelled right. Hyri has it with the H. Takes an H. <laughs> so I After of that, I like that answer. <laughs> so Hyri, um, so you can send us a email. The email is at the bottom of the screen here, ms at Tales from Candle Keep, or you can just send us a whisper at the Tales from Candle Keep Twitch channel, and we'll send you your base game. Congratulations. <laughs> Next question. We had an update with dice rolls. Yeah, you guys seen it. What's the color of the standard oh. die? This color, color of the standard, standard die. die. And this is going for Artist Simber's DLC. Are this? Nope, no, not, red. not red. Not red. Not no. red. No. Not red. <laughs> standard. In the game, in, in, the, in this in, game. In this game. The color's different. Blue? No. <laughs> You're gonna get it, guys. You should show the wallpaper <laughs> pretty quickly. You're gonna, <laughs> uh, okay, let, let's tease this. No, Absurdium, you know, we're, we're, 
We're following multiple chat, and yeah. you were close, but you were not first, sadly. So somebody got it? Oh, let's see. I see the answer. I'm going to yeah. show you. Da da da! It's and green. It's, it's green. <laughs> so uh, without a plan, uh, without a plan is the first one. Without a plan, you got the artist DLC. All right. Without a plan, do you have another question for the uh, the next DLC, Fred? Uh, next question. Oh, I'm gonna make it super easy. What's yeah. the name of the game? Name of the game. Name of the game. The whole thing, or oh, just, just the, the beginning. The beginning. Yeah. The beginning of the name of our game. Yeah. <laughs> It's everywhere on your screen. <laughs> I know Roll20 is coming up, so we're wrapping it up here real fast. We have only two more questions coming up, and then it's goodbyes until next Friday. Wait, do we have a stream? Yes, we do have a stream. Tales from Candle Keep. Tales from Candle Keep. So, Sandal, Sandal man. Yeah. Sandal. Sandal, same thing. Send us a whisper at uh, Tales from Candle Keep or the email that you see in the description. MS, Tales from Candle Keep.com. All right. So, easy question. Um, for Dragon Bait's DLC pack, Dragon Bait is a class. What class is Dragon Bait? Have we, have we mentioned his class? Yes, yes we did. Yes, we did mention his class. Because I was looking for his name, actually. I know All he's right. a, yes. Dragon's Bait class for the Dragon's Bait DLC. All right. Not an easy one. I've mentioned it once. Paladin. Paladin. All right, one last question, and we have to go make way for Roll20 that's coming along here for Birdsong. Um, the question we're going to ask for Birdsong, Birdsong plays with an instrument. What yeah. is the instrument she plays with? Have we mentioned it? <laughs> you can see it, though. It's, it's really totally Oh, obvious. yeah, yeah, you can see it. <laughs> if you look at your screen. Yes. <laughs> what instrument? What instrument? The lute. Loot, yeah. Half vigilante. You got half it. Half vigilante. Yeah. Half. All right. Half so same vigilante. thing. Vigilante. He may have lost. Well, guys, we have to go. We have to go. But we'll thank be you, here. everyone. Same time next week. So thank you. So